Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan. If you're new here, I am doing the Disney College Program Spring of 2019. I know I haven't updated you guys. I know I haven't posted a video literally since Traditions. It has been so crazy. And they say the Disney College Program keeps you busy. Like, they are not joking around. Today is my first day off in nine days. Go joke! to nine straight days and now I have today and tomorrow off which is very appreciated I've just been hanging out and it's really nice because tomorrow is Valentine's Day so me and my boyfriend are doing something really fun and we're bringing you along and I'm really excited for tomorrow so I'm really thankful that I got Valentine's Day off I was not expecting that but anyway back to what I was talking about I worked nine days in a row every week I've had I've had overtime it's just been crazy and I can't believe that today is the 13th which means that tomorrow makes one month since my Disney College program started. It really blows my mind. It's flying by. It's going by way too fast. So in this video, I just wanted to update you guys. Um, my location did change. So I'm going to update you guys on my new location. If you're coming to the parks where you can find me, talk about quick service food and beverage training. My role is quick service food and beverage. And my training and my assessment and all that fun stuff. Just go ahead and get started. With the video unfortunately i'm not working at pinocchio's village house anymore so if you did watch my location reveal that's actually not where i'm working disney did change my location on the first day of my training so first after traditions i had one day off you go to something called welcome to operations from welcome to operations i had my quick service food and beverage class where I found out that my location was changed. I was only working Tuesday and Friday after traditions, but then during my quick service food and beverage core class, someone came in, they handed me a new schedule with my new location, and told me that I'm literally starting training tomorrow. So I wasn't even getting my Magic Kingdom tour, I wasn't doing my once upon a time thing where you walk around, I was starting training before my tour. Had my welcome to ops, um, they literally pulled me out of class, took me to costuming, got me a costume, and I started training that next day. I was originally, uh, my location was Pinocchio's Village House, um, which was a quick service restaurant in Fantasyland. So I was all set to be front of house at Pinocchio's Village House. Um, that's what I went in thinking that I was. And I was told that they, um, they had too many people at that location. So I am now at Fantasyland Stance. So you can find me at Gaston's Tavern, Storybook Treats, Prince Eric's Market, and what is that? Friar's Nook. Okay. So I am at all of those locations, so every day I can be somewhere else, which is super fun and super cool. I'm not at the same place every single day. But then when it came to training, um, you have to learn all four locations in four days and have your assessment. So that was kind of... Sorry. Crazy kids at my apartment are like racing their cars. Oh yeah, so you had to learn all of those locations, all of those roles in four days, actually three days and then your assessment was day four. So that was definitely a lot, which I'll talk about in a second, but basically to wrap up that, Disney changed my location from Pinocchio's Village House to Fantasyland Stand. So if you're looking for me, like I said, you can find me at Gaston's Tavern where they have Blue Foods Brew. It's really good. It's a frozen apple juice slushy drink. Everyone thinks it's beer, but it's not. Then my second one is Storybook Treats. So I make a lot of Peter Pan floats and Tinkerbell Pixie Dust Cones. And number three is Prince Eric's Market, which is right across from um, the Little Mermaid ride. And four is, I always forget this one, Friar's Nook. So that's famous for their tater tots. They have buffalo chicken tots, um, lots of different tater tots, fiesta nacho tots. Definitely, I was definitely shocked. I was definitely overwhelmed. Um, just because I found it out so quick and costuming and they originally gave me the wrong costume so I almost showed up to my first day of work in the wrong costume but I figured it out everything was good so let's just talk about my quick service food and beverage training experience and my day one so basically how my location split it up is I had four days my first day was at one location my second day was at two locations my third day was at one location and then the fourth day was my assessment. So I had four days, basically three days of training and then my assessment. My first day was at Friars Nook. So basically I'm gonna tell you the main difference that I felt like 
I was overwhelmed with my quick service food and beverage is um, at Pinocchio's Village House, if I was at Pinocchio's Village House front of house, I wasn't dealing with any kind of preparing the food. I wasn't dealing with making the food. I was basically, I would be like a busser kind of thing, walk around the tables. Some people get cash trained, some people don't. Um, basically the people who hand you your food, make your drinks, all that fun stuff. At Fantasyland Stands, Fantasy Land Stands, we basically switch. You do all the roles, you do everything. So, like the first day, I was at Friar's Nook. And, like I said, Friar's Nook has hot dogs, tater tots, all kinds of stuff. And I've never worked in the back of a kitchen before. I've never done anything like that. Fryers, you have to do there's the hot line, the cold line. Um, so, like, you're prepping the food to hand it to the guests and it is so busy back there and so small. Oh my goodness, the first day was definitely overwhelming. I didn't know what I was getting myself into because I'm not saying that I wasn't prepared to do work, but I wasn't prepared to be a part of making the food to give to guests, blah, blah, blah. So I was just not mentally prepared, but it's okay. So that was the first day, definitely overwhelming. There's fryers. There's steamers, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that go into making the food, of course, because that's how you eat the food. So yeah, so basically you could show up for your shift and be on fryers, you could show up to your shift and be on cashier, and that's another thing. Um, I have some friends that were I met because I thought we were going to be working at Pinocchio's together, and like they're not even cash trained, and I was learning how to be the cashier, fryer, steamer, everything all on my first day, and that's just like, I was like, so day two was Gaston's and Storybook Treats. So we spent half the day at Gaston's, we spent half the day at Storybook Treats. So favorite location of the four stands, well I have like two favorites. So my first favorite is Gaston's. I love the music they play. I literally get to hear Beauty and the Beast music all day long. If these people do not stop racing in my parking lot, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> hopefully they stop. Crazy college kids. What are you gonna do? So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so my favorite location is Gaston's Tavern. They have the LeFou's Brew. They have the famous cinnamon rolls that literally are bigger than your face. And I love it there. Just the whole mood and the whole environment is just like, I love it. I love when I'm scheduled at Gaston's. So Storybook Treats is also very busy. There's always a line. Literally, I don't think the line ever stops, even during the middle of the week. Even if it was cold outside, uh, people want their ice cream. People don't want the regular chocolate and vanilla. They want the special pixie dust cones and the special Peter Pan floats. So that basically there's three different positions there. You can be cashier, you can be filler, which is just making the ice cream for the person that's on the register. And then there's like their considered cooker, which you're just like refilling all the ice cream, making sure you don't run out, making sure they have all the cotton candy they need, pixie dust, all that fun stuff. So it was Guest on Tavern and Storybook Treats, and day two wasn't bad. I was starting to feel a little bit better. Then on to day three um, was Prince Eric's Market. So Prince Eric's Market is definitely another one of my favorite locations. It's outside, you feel closer to the guests, you can people watch, you're right across from the Little Mermaid ride, it's a beautiful view, and honestly, Gaston's and Prince Eric's, I could work there every day. Someone is calling me. Okay, so turkey legs, pretzels, which people love their turkey legs. Not a fan, in fact, we do have um, the same pretzels that are at Epcot in Germany. We serve them in the Magic Kingdom. We have a specialty drink right now, the Witch's Brew and then a mermaid donut, and then other little snacks and fruit and drinks. Honestly, I could be at Gaston's and Prince Eric's Market every single day and my heart would be happy, but sometimes I am at the other places, but it's okay. So that was my first week of training, basically, and I just talked more about each location. So day one, I trained at Friars Nook. I got a little overwhelmed because I was on Friars for the first time. Um, day two was Gaston's Tavern and Storybook Treats. So basically learned everything there. Day three was Prince Eric's Market. And then my last day of training was my assessment. So basically they took you to each location. They asked you questions. You went a little bit on every position and basically they're just making sure that you're ready to work tomorrow because basically you've earned your ears and then tomorrow 
you got to work all by yourself. Um, I was definitely nervous. I didn't want to fail my assessment because that would be really embarrassing and I don't know what would happen. I don't know if you get turned. I don't know if you just have to train again. But basically, your girl passed her assessment. She earned her ears and that was a long time ago. That was actually almost three weeks ago. Working a lot every week that I've been working. I've had overtime over 40 hours The last thing that I wanted to talk about is basically like the people that I work with I've met some really amazing people, but I am gonna say I didn't want this to be true. I am gonna say that Full-timers and like the people that have been there for a long time they don't want anything to do with CPs they don't want to help CPs and like to me the one reason like I'm like why don't you want to help me is gonna say someone said to me like you're only here for four months like you don't need to learn that and I'm like if you want me to help you close if you want me to help you get out of here quicker at the end of the night like you're gonna have to teach me what to do like I'm not asking you to do it for me I'm asking you to teach me so that you don't have to do it for me so like a couple of the people they are not fans of the college program of the CPs but like overall the majority of the people I've met they're super awesome they're super sweet I've met some super amazing people at my location everyone just keeps telling me like we have the best leaders the best coordinators and like I'm really thankful for that like I'm a person who believes like the people that you work with make where you work and like if you're miserable with the people you work with like you're with them every single day like, so that is just my little update basically my new location is Fantasyland Stands. I'm no longer at Pinocchio's Village House. Like I posted in my location reveal, um, training was definitely overwhelming. I didn't, I have no experience being in the back of house of a kitchen or anything like that. So definitely that is all something new for me. But three weeks out, I basically learned everything. Um, most people are super helpful. And if you do have questions, they are going to help. Food and beverage. Training was definitely a lot, definitely overwhelming. It's definitely been a lot of work, but I know in the end it's all going to be worth it. And I went into it, I'm not going to lie, like I said in my video, like quick service food and beverage wasn't my top role. But at the end of the day, like I work at Disney World, I work at the Magic Kingdom. Every single night I either see or hear happily ever after, which is like, I still can't believe. It just blows my mind. This is such an incre incredible opportunity, seeing all the work that goes in and every single little person that makes that magic happen. Like, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. I love it so much. It's so magical. Think about the doing the Disney College program, like, do it. Like, it is so worth it. You're gonna work, you're gonna work a lot, you're gonna work hard, but I promise, and I know at the end, like, it's gonna be so worth it. Like the people that you meet, like the chances that you have, like you get to live at Disney World. And I can't believe it's been a month. I can't believe I only have three months left. Learning how the magic comes to life and being a part of creating that magic, it's just like, it's, I love it so much. I know I don't wanna stop working at Disney World. I wanna keep working at Disney World. I want to grow with the company. I'm already thinking about all the ways I can keep working at Disney World, whether with that's with another Disney college program, whether if that's applying to extend, whether if that's um, full-time or part-time. My dream goal is a professional internship, which I'm trying super hard for and applying for and checking my applications every single day. At the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you did watch all the way through, thank you so much. Um, if you are new, just make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below. Um, I am going to be posting new videos. I promise they won't be every single, like, once a month. Like, something very exciting tomorrow. I'm definitely bringing my camera with me to show you guys because I'm really excited. It's on my days off. I still go to the Magic Kingdom. Like, I was at the Magic Kingdom for nine days in a row. What am I going to do on my day off? Go to the Magic Kingdom, of course. Like, what else would I do? If you do have any suggestions go ahead and comment them down below give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you click that red button thank you guys so much for watching this video and just following my disney journey and wanting to follow my disney college program experience thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye